And topping today's HealthCast, a new study suggests that brain imaging, even after just what looks to be an apparent mild injury, may help predict how a patient and their brain will recover. Researchers at the University of California, San Francisco, reviewed brain scans after mild head injuries and found some patterns of brain bleeds could be associated with worse long-term outcomes. So uh, if for whatever reason, clinically, the treating or examining physician decides the CT scan is necessary, and they find one of these abnormalities, that's a clue that you just can't let this person go back to the community without additional support because they're gonna encounter troubles with memory concentration, um, higher cognitive function uh, in the future so that we need to follow them on a regular basis, put them into rehabilitation programs potentially uh, that may assist them with cognitive functioning. And Dr. Michael McDermott with the Baptist Health's Miami Neuroscience Institute says that researchers conducted CT scans on nearly 2,000 people with mild traumatic brain injuries and followed their outcomes about 12 months after the injury. And another study was part of a larger research effort funded by the National Institutes of Health just to really better understand the short-term and the long-term effects of head injuries and to identify potential treatments. The American Medical Association and 55 other groups are also now calling for COVID vaccination mandates for health care and long-term care workers. The governor of Alabama in particular, one of the states with the lowest vaccination rates out there, says, and I am quoting him, it's time to start blaming the unvaccinated folks and not the regular folks, unquote, for the surge in new cases. And federal tax funds are recently used to purchase 200 million more coronavirus vaccine doses from Pfizer, which may be used as booster shots going forward or for children under the age of 12, if and when the FDA authorizes use in that age group.